Have you ever wondered how you can build an all-in-one software solution to access all your AI models? Whether it's interacting with your AI voice assistants, personalized chatbots, or even tapping into AI automations you've created. Well, today I'm going to be showcasing a simple solution that makes this possible. I'll walk you through how to create apps and softwares in just minutes using this powerful tool. Now, with this tool, I'm going to be showcasing how you can build an app that acts as a portal to host all of your AI models in one singular place. Essentially, we're going to be creating an all-in-one portal that is going to enable you to access multiple tools such as chatbots, AI assistants, and within a couple seconds, you're going to be able to see this portal right over here on the screen where you're going to have your chatbots, your voice bots, as well as your forms all in one place. So how are we going to accomplish this? Well, it's all thanks to a trustworthy application called VectorShift, a no-code AI automation platform that we've seen countless of times on this channel, where I've automated data entry, created software, and so much more with this application. VectorShift is a no-code, low-code solution that harnesses the power to create AI search engines, voice assistants, chatbots, and automations. With its intuitive interface, you can build powerful AI-driven solutions without needing any sort of code with a simple drag-and-drop UI. And this is something that allows you to automate almost anything with ease. Now, in this video, I'll show you how you can use VectorShift to bring all your AI models into one central portal, making it seamless, efficient, and it's something that will enable you to create software quite easily. So let's get started. What I want you guys to do is head over to the VectorShift website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Once you are here, click on this Get Started button and sign up with a Google account or with a GitHub account or by simply signing up with your email address. Once you have signed up, you'll then be sent over to the main dashboard of VectorShift. This is the pipeline dashboard and this is where you can manage all your automations as well as your creations. If you head over to the marketplace, you can readily clone ready-made templates that have been already created by either the VectorShift team or by community members. And this way you can easily get started with something that has been already created rather than starting from scratch. You have a knowledge base in which you can upload various file types, you have your automations and chatbots that you can manage. You have a search base that you can also work with, such as your search engine. You have forums, voice bots, and so much more, which is why this is an ideal platform. Now, if you head over to portals, this is where we're going to be creating a portal for all of our AI models, our automations, our chatbots, as well as our voice bots. And essentially, this is the software in which it's going to be hosting all of our different creations in one place and this is where it's going to make it more convenient it's going to be more scalable and more efficient so what we're going to do now is first create a new portal and we're going to give this a portal name let's give this world of ai portal and then what we can do is we can simply just click on create portal we can configure the other interfaces afterwards once we have created multiple interfaces such as if we have a chatbot we would want to import we can simply click this and we can have it imported to our portal but in this case you might not have any of these created if you are first starting off with vector shift so then what we can do is if you are a beginner and you haven't really created anything with VectorShift, we can start off by creating something from scratch so that we can then populate our portal in which it becomes our all-in-one platform in which it helps us manage all of our creations. So what we can do now is click on create object and we can start off by creating a pipeline from scratch. Now what you can do is you can either adopt or clone many of the pre-made templates that we showcase from various categories but in this case what we're going to be doing is creating a pipeline from scratch so simply click on this button over here this will then take us to a drag and drop ui in which this is something that you can use to help you build your, your automations your chatbots or your voice bots so we're going to first start off by placing an input node and an output node this is quite foundational for any workflow to be operational where queries come in and then they're headed out through the output so what we're going to be doing now is creating an AI voice bot. So this is a simple workflow that we can then populate within our portal. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and showcase how you can build this. What you want to do first is go over to knowledge base and place down a knowledge base node in which 
we can have the LM reference this knowledge base to provide answers through voice. So we're going to go ahead and create a knowledge base for this. So simply click on this, give it a name, AI voice bot, and you can then go ahead and click on create. This is where you can feed the knowledge base, your files. You can either add integrations with many of these third party applications, which is really unique and helpful, or you can have it so that you can uh you can basically scrape urls from various websites recursively as well so go ahead and create your knowledge base then go ahead and go over to the lm tab and place down an open ai large language model node and give it a system prompt where i'm telling it to answer questions based on the context next you want to head over to the chat category and place down a chat memory so that you can basically reference and store memory within your knowledge base and you can also place down a chat file reader, which is going to allow you to upload documents to your chatbot. And you can have it so that it could be read with this AI voice bot. So now what we're going to be doing is placing in a prompt for each of these different nodes to be connected. To do this, you can simply click on insert variable within this section. And it will basically create a new way for you to connect a prompt or a node. So since we already have two of these or all the variable is connected i'm gonna now connect everything the question will be linked to the input the history will be connected to the chat memory the context will be linked to the knowledge base reader which we can also have linked to the input and we can then have the file linked to the chat file leader so i spruced it up and i finally connected to the output and what you can do now is just simply click on deploy changes and once you have done that, you can either run this pipeline as a test within this panel over here to see if everything's working, or you can simply just click on export. And what you can do is you can click on chatbot and you can then export this as an AI voice chatbot. So I'm going to quickly name this AI voice chatbot. And then we're going to click on create chatbot. Once that's done, you can change the configurations of how you can style your chatbot's interface. Uh, in this case, we're just going to leave it as the same old and we're going to click on export. Now, what you can do is you can either integrate this within many of these other providers. You can upload this as a widget within your website or as a link, and you can even add different sorts of SSO authentication. But now we have our AI voice chatbot completed, which is where it could be possible for you to chat with your voice. You can have it so that it could read your files with voice and this is the flexibility that you get with uh, vector shift and what sort of apps or chatbots that you can create so now that we have our first pipeline created we can then head over to our portal and we can now start adding things to our interface so in this case we can add a world of ai chatbot you can add multiple things in this case i'm going to add our ai voice chatbot now within the voice bots i actually have a world of ai voice assistant that i've created with vector shift in the forms i have a data entry form in which i've automated the process of data entry as well as a customer support automation and within the search tab i actually have a world of ai search engine so you can see that I've already integrated all of these different apps that I've created with VectorShift in one place. This is an all-in-one portal now in which I can simply click on deploy changes. I can configure the uh, like the styling. But in this case, what we're going to be doing now is exporting this. And we can actually open this portal up as a link or you can embed this within your website. So now I'm going to be able to access all of these different models or tools or automations that are created in one place so if i want to work with data entry you can simply click on this you can upload your data and it will be able to extract and format it in the manner that i have requested it to and in the same manner if you are to go back to the home page you can then click on something like a world of ai voice bot and you can start chatting with this voice agent as an assistant what is the world of ai the world of AI, as explored by the YouTube channel at In the World of A, encompasses a broad array of advancements. You can also go over to your search engine and you can ask it about various files that you have uploaded to it. So in this case, find me some information about world of AI. You can send this in and it will retrieve all the documents that I mentioned or uploaded to the search engine. And it will give me an answer and provide all the sources. 
This is your in-depth all-in-one portal in which you can create with VectorShift. This is a great platform that allows you and enables you to do almost anything with AI. Now, I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at VectorShift. I definitely recommend that you try this out because I definitely use this on a day-to-day -day basis. Follow me on the Patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions to AI tools completely for free, as well as accessing our private Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.